Eric wants to know, did I try out for the boulders and say you try out and make the team what to expect in indie ball? What to expect in independent baseball? You would ask me this question probably 10 years ago. My response would have been drastically different as it's going to be right now. Independent baseball is really high caliber baseball. You also have to know that independent baseball, there's multiple tiers of independent baseball. There are multiple leagues. As time continues to go and the talent technology and the development of baseball players just continues to rise and grow, and coupled with the fact that there is and has been taking away levels in affiliated baseball, which is like you get signed by an organization and they have triple A, double A, single A, rookie ball, Arizona League, all these things. When I got drafted, I went to the Arizona Diamondbacks and we had short season A, short season advance. So those were two rookie ball teams, different leagues. Then they had an AZL in the Arizona League. Then they had low A, high A, double A, triple A. So they had three short seasons if you count the Arizona League. And then Florida teams will have like the Florida Gulf Coast League, but that was back in my day and I got drafted in 2010. Now they take away like the two like short season teams or some organizations had one. So like you're taking away opportunities and jobs for multiple players and where are those guys gonna go? Independent baseball, right? So like over the past few years with minor leagues taking away teams, and the development and the rise of baseball development and players just becoming way better, in my opinion, than they have ever before because of the, the training environment and the requirement to be a professional baseball player now is just different. So what you have after all of that is independent baseball being really, really good. And I'll know, I know from personal experience, like my pitching in 2022, obviously not a great, not a great year by any means, but if you look back at like when I was a starter in 2018 in the same league, Frontier League Independent Baseball, and you look at my numbers, like it's drastically different. And I, and I think that's a testament to just the players being exceptionally good. And obviously like the, the dynamic of players not having jobs in affiliated ball because there's not enough freaking spots, you know? So they go somewhere and they go to ball and they freaking play and they grind and they, they do really well. To answer your question, Eric, what to expect in any ball? Expect a really good competition. I say don't make the same mistake I did back in 2017. I had just gotten released. But just to give you a timeline, I had went to my second big league camp, spring training, and then got sent down 2017 from big league camp to minor league camp. Three days later, got released. And then like five days later, I was pitching for independent baseball team, the Lincoln Salt Dogs. And I remember going into that first start just thinking, frick, man, like this is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm an indie ball. I'm just getting done fricking my second big league camp. Here we go. I'm gonna be a starter. I haven't started in fricking six, seven years, whatever the case may be. And holy smokes, man, like it was a rude awakening. Like baseball is, baseball is so unique in the sense of it just being competitive, I think. Even when, it's, even when it's not at the highest level of competition from the players. I guess what I'm trying to say is like basketball. Basketball, the task of basketball, shooting a ball into a hoop that's what, twice its size? Like that task is, in my opinion, somewhat simple. But the task of like baseball, whether it be hitting the baseball or like throwing the baseball in a particular spot, like that task, that physical task in and of itself is just difficult, right? Like let alone like who's competing against you from an individual standpoint. Like the task is just hard. Like that's why like you go freaking throw a bullpen by yourself into a nine pocket or whatever. You're not guaranteed to hit like whatever spot you want. The task of baseball, just like I would say golf is really hard, right? It's not necessarily the players in the sport that make it hard. Like I would say basketball and football are sports that more so become hard because of the competition, because of the other players you're facing against. Whereas like, whereas like baseball and like golf are just sports that in and of themselves, the sport alone is just hard, right? So what to expect in indie ball? It's baseball at a professional level, so it's, it's tough. So don't take it for granted and work hard.